at Community Crisis Services in Hyattsville. The calls flooding in. People routed here from across our region and as a backup from all across the nation. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline got 50,000 more calls last month than it did in June 2021. I've had a caller tell me that had he not had someone to talk to, that he would have blew his brains out. He had the gun ready. The isolation and stress of the pandemic has left some people feeling hopeless. Is this a particularly important time to do this? The pandemic has had significant impacts on the well-being of the nation. While the old 800 number will still work, starting Saturday, people thinking about suicide or struggling with any mental crisis will be able to dial just three digits, 988, to connect with a trained counselor. To be able to get through just like 911, Instantly, it's a life or death thing for some people. The Biden administration has boosted the money for crisis care to $432 million. But because calls are handled by a patchwork of nonprofits, some still go unanswered. Do we know for certain somebody is going to be there to pick up the phone at 988? The goal is to get 95% of people connected within 20 seconds. We're all working towards that. This is personal to me. I lost a family member to suicide. Yeah, it's personal. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, you just hit me right on the... Alice Stanford is an HHS regional director, a pediatric surgeon, and a mom of teenage boys. I feel like it's even harder now for our kids right now. 988, three numbers that can save thousands of lives. In Prince George's, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.